pulled the head off to check the gasket, see why it was puffing smoke out. And one, well, it wasn't very tight, so looks like whoever I got it from, well, I guess whoever put it in the van of the guy I got it from had taken it apart and inspected it and ended up deciding to just replace it because the head gasket itself doesn't look blown but let's see if we can get this on camera here there's a crack right there going from the intake valve to the uh, pre-combustion port so I'm going to say that's why it uh, got replaced and to be budget friendly we're going to try and weld it up. We got some rod, nickel rod for welding cast iron and I'm going to grind that down and make a little divot for it to sit in. I'm going to try and pop that uh, valve seat out since it's a nice, it's a nice deep one. It's not short like you'll see in small block Chevy's and stuff. It's probably three eighths of an inch down in there so I might see if I can pop that out. And then, yeah, try and grind it all down and weld it up and hopefully it works for a while. I got a nice little groove ground in to lay the weld in. I might have to clean up this area to get the cut back in. But wasn't able to get the valve seat out, but I kept didn't get into the actual seat area itself with any grinding or anything so I'll be fine probably just lap it back in since I don't have a barbecue I don't want to go pick one up it's got the heat gun going in through the uh, intake port and just blowing the heat in so let it sit there for a while and warm it up Not the prettiest in the world, but got it all welded up. Um, did a couple of passes, built it up, ground it down, then did some more passes, ground it down. I just can't seem to get those little dimples there to want to go away. So it's welded all the way through the crack, so I'm just going to call it good because I don't know, it'll probably only last for 10 minutes, anyways, but we're going to give it a shot. Fire up the glow plugs this time. Bam. Oh, you're right in the smoke path. <laughs> She's jumping.
It works. Yay. It is leaking some fuel around that injector though. Did the uh, finish welding on the adapter plate and painted it Detroit Alpine Green just so it kind of stands out between the engine and transmission. I've got the flywheel and new clutch all ready to go. It's pretty much ready to go on the car. I just got to get a freeze plug for the back of the head here and went ahead and welded around this side of the bolts and you know before I just welded from what I could reach in the corner here on the back but I welded all the way around then welded all the way around this side and ground it flush pretty much flush it's a little rough but it's good enough for who it's for uh, on the back side on both sides the holes here where the two plates didn't quite match up it was a quarter inch offset so I took a piece of quarter inch and put it across this side of the hole and just kind of filled the gap on the sides with weld and then ground it flush so the uh, it has a nice flat spot for the washer and bolt to sit got the uh, plug in the side there I may eventually get a block heater and that's where it'll go but for now I just got the brass plug in there and then that's the temperature switch that was on the Kubota so I'm probably gonna run that one to the uh, glow plug timer and then that's the one out of the Geo Metro I don't remember if I showed this but this is a throttle lever that I made it didn't have one on it so I just took a piece of 3 16 flat bar and drilled the center hole and the offset hole and just got it going down for now once I get the uh, get in the car and see how the cables gonna set I'm gonna have to build a mount bracket for it in here somewhere and then I'll actually get the hole for where it's gonna hook up to here set too so that you know when I run the gas pedal I'll actually get full travel out of it oh the new longer belt I got it in so got the belt all on it's pretty close to straight but when I final put it in the car well I won't know for sure until I uh, bolt the alternator, or the alternator pulley all the way down because right now it's just kind of pressed pushed on by hand so it might go in further when there's actually a nut on it so once I get it in the car and get the nut on it I may end up having to ship them this one way or the other I mean as it sits now it looks like I'm definitely gonna have to even as it sits because it's back just a little bit so we'll see how far once the pulley's fully on the other alternator that works or I know that it works it's in the car because it's new um, got the plate for building the front mount <laughs> that's the engine mount that was on the Geo Metro engine it went up you know something like that but I'm gonna reuse this part I'll just have to build a bracket of some sort off of here but I'll have to do that once I get in the car I mean that's gonna be the longest part of getting it in the car is gonna be building that mount because I mean adapters all done so I can just bolt that right in just be doing that and then putting the exhaust on to match up with what's on there I got the plug for the solenoid and the one that has the pink wire on it is the the pole portion the way these solenoids work they have a pole and a hold coil so that way I've got it marked out so I don't have to try and figure out when it's in there so basically you put power to the pole and the hold at the same time and then you can release power from the hold so I'm gonna hook the coil wire to the hold and then the pole will be teed in with the uh, the key switch 
off the starter so when the starter is engaged it pulls. And then for now I just got a little foam air filter to go on right there. That'll work for now until I figure something else out. I mean that'll probably actually end up staying on there until I end up turboing it because I plan to do that. And 